When I started aerospace engineering, I never thought I would touch artificial intelligence. I'm flattered that, honestly, they thought about me. That means that what I'm doing is valuable. I think I was very much influenced uh, by the Japanese cartoon of the space robotics. Stuff like uh, Goldrake, Mazinga, uh, Jig Robo. So we were all dreaming about, you know, saving the world. However, I have to say that uh, this is not the only thing that drove me. I was always curious and fascinated since I was uh, a kid by equations. Exoteric mathematics in which at the time I had no clue, but I would spend some time looking at the equations and try to figure out what they meant. And I think that was an extremely important step toward uh, you know, the science, the math, and ultimately space engineering. The first time I met him, he just walked into my door. And so he came in to talk to me because I, I do mathematics and I told him I, that I don't do orbital mechanics, but I do you know, applied mathematics. And so uh, he was interested, so uh, he came on board. It was interesting because it was called the Coffee Project. Actually, made the highlight also in the Jay Leno show uh, many, many years ago because it was a project funded uh, to use uh, space technology to help uh, coffee growers automatize and roboticize and figure out automatically where the coffee chair is, where. Here, yeah, what struck me is all this professor, you know, uh, very famous in their field, a researcher that you know, you could just knock on the door, just go and talk to them. And I think it was an extremely positive impact on the decision, you know, to stay at the University of Arizona. I felt like an extreme uh, sense of freedom on pursuing many projects, which is kind of in line with the Da Vinci, you know, way of thinking, the Renaissance man. The Da Vinci Fellowship grant, I will probably use it as a seed money. Um, in artificial intelligence applied to guidance control and navigation. Roberto is a uh, deep and big thinker. Uh, as a director of Space Situational Awareness Arizona, uh, he has been playing a crucial role uh, in leading and coordinating campus-wide multidisciplinary research over the past years, I collaborated with quite a bit of professors, of course, starting with Barry Ganapol, but recently, however, um, we've been working very, very closely with the Professor Reddy, okay, at LPL. When we realized that UOA after Osiris Rex, you know, we don't have a follow-on mission, uh, you know, we, we decided that we're going to go and find a mission and bring it to UOA. And he and his students are working on that mission. He like uh, leave you a lot of freedom, so he kind of give you input, and then you go from there. It's like uh, he's more of like a mentor, kind of friend, kind of relationship. Working with Roberto as long as I have, there's a certain trust he has in you. You know, even though we're just his students, he treats us all like peers. As an individual, um, knowing that Roberto believes in me makes me feel great. Makes me feel great as a person. Makes me feel great as a student. But I would say it perhaps makes me feel the best as one of his peers. I try to provide strong fundamentals with the idea, don't be afraid to try new things. But don't break mathematical laws. That's extremely important. I cannot think of any other person who is more deserving than Roberto. Like on the professional skill-wise, but also on the human side, I think this prize is very well deserved. I think he's a genius. You know, just like Leonardo. He has, he has those attributes of, of Da Vinci. Uh, and uh, I don't think you can, you can say it any better than that.